So in today's VFX fundamentals, we're gonna take a look at how we can neutral grade a plate that I captured using my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera and bring it into Maya. My name is Peter Aversten and I'm a lead texture artist. So if you're new to my channel and you wanna stay up to date for topics like VFX, texturing and look to consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Okay, so neutral grading a bat play, what's that all about? So let's imagine that you have this lens and you want to swap it to a 3D lens or a, a CGI version of this, we, some like a new model, whatever. What you do, you, you first shoot a reference so you know what the real lens look like on set and in the, in the plate essentially. Then you take it away and you shoot uh, a clean plate without anything so you know now you can place your CGI item here. Then you shoot this color checker. So this the color checker here is made for grading and also a good way to, to set your mid-tones, your white levels and your black levels. And you also have all of these settings here for the colors. So in my case here, in DaVinci Resolve, we have a way to actually match this color checker here towards the grade. So that's good because in DaVinci Resolve, what I wanna do is produce a neutral grade. And that means we don't have a film look. We just have how it looked here on set. We, have a, we don't really have crushed black levels or really clipped highlights. That's something that you can see in the film look, but that's intentional. So we wanna have the most range, the most neutral possibilities here to incorporate the CG version into this. And then later on, when we have lit this CG object and we have comped it, then we can uh, turn the dials to get this filmic look, teal and orange or whatever. Uh, new uh, grades that is uh, favorable for the movie in question. In my case here, I'm just gonna do a neutral grade and that's gonna be, I just wanna have a, a sRGB LUT and later on I wanna turn this into a linear plate that I then in Maya can use an sRGB LUT as well to give the same look in Maya that I had in DaVinci Resolve. And there I can add my CGI, then take it back and grade it if I wanna have this more filmic look. But then I'm gonna grade everything and everything is gonna be affected in the same manner. So yeah, that's gonna be the most reliable way to get CGI to work in any situation. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can achieve this first. DaVinci Resolve and then we take the plate into Maya. Okay, so here in DaVinci Resolve, so first off, we have some uh, footage here. So I took this on my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema. So let's see here what we need. Color space on, on this camera here. And also DaVinci Y or DB. Let's set it to that. Hit save there. And let's drag one of these here. This one, for example. This is my grading reference. We can take the reference as well, the plate here. So let's see here. We want to cut it down, I guess. No, that's fine. We want to grade this now. And that's something we can do here in the color page. So let's jump into there now. Okay, so the color page here, we can take a look here what we have. So we can see here, this is not gonna be a tutorial about really about grading. And I just wanna do a, a a quick neutral grade here. So the neutral, what that means is I just want to set my uh, color saturation and contrast to something that kind of looked like when I shot it on onto the plate. Nothing, uh, no look really. I shot this color checker here. And that, that's uh, something we actually have a, a tool for. So we can check that out, see here. First off, we can just here go to my uh, color settings here, all the uh, camera raw. We can set it to clip. So this is how I shot it. The color space is black magic design. So first off here, I want to insert a node here. I don't want to work here on the first node. So I want to insert a node and that's Alt S makes a serial. So essentially I want to match the colors using this um, color match tool here. So let's see what we can do. So first off 
here we want to say um, where we see this color picker if I click on it we can get the color charts and then we get this so first off we need here to find out what type of color checker so I used the uh, x right color checker passport video you can see here yellow yellow to green so so now we essentially just need to place this here so we get the swatches here on in the correct place yes do something like this source gamma is gonna be uh, black magic design film target gamma I want to go to sRGB because that's my monitor and that's what I'm gonna use in Maya later on as a lot so let's see here S RGB there you go now we can just hit match and see what happens and you see here the the colors popped so uh, it match the target and uh, everything you can see here if I look at the histogram here the scopes can see here this these three here red green and blue here essentially I would think it's it's this band here so there's a little uh, less blue so let's see here if I up this a bit and redo that now we see here I start to shift now they are almost the same uh, so let's see there you go and that's how I shot it that's, that reminds me is essentially how I shot it we can also do a slight if I do another serial just now go to my uh, scopes here and um, color wheels and just crunch it a slight just raise this just a tad maybe pump up a little in on the mid tones there and you can say that if this is the, the neutral we want to apply so we can just select these two and then middle uh, mouse click on this one that has a grade it's gonna propagate it out to the other ones you see here now we have the same grades between them so i graded this selected these two and middle mouse clicked on the one i have graded already and that copies the same grade to them all. So yeah, that's kind of um, the basics here, how we apply a, a neutral on, onto this one. So it's obviously gonna be different depending on the, the scenario, but in my case here, I had a color checker that I shot for this uh, case here. And then now here, before we export it, we can explore something um, because this one now has sRGB burnt into it, but essentially in Maya we work in a linear color space for rendering. So there's a few ways to take your plate. Uh, either you can export it out as an with gamma uh, applied, uh, or you can linearize it. So we can do uh, the linearizing way because we can apply the gamma in Maya later on. Okay, so we wanna linearize this now. So what we could do is to add another node here and uh, apply a uh, VFX LUT here. So sRGB to lin, I could say this. And now this is gonna be linearized. So, but that's tedious. You, you have to do it on uh, a lot of nodes or uh, copy this over this node over to all of the clips and, and that's just boring. So in um, DaVinci Resolve 16 we uh, got a new uh, adjustment clip and that's cool. So let's take a look at how we can use this. So an adjustment clip is, is what it is. It's similar to uh, adjustment uh, layers in Photoshop for example or I guess After Effects it's similar I think it has adjustment clip I don't use After Effects but I've heard about it um, anyway so it's essentially a an adjustment clip you can uh, add on top of the timeline so anything below it is going to be 
treated with whatever effects you apply here. So in my case, I just wanna apply a lot onto this clip. So let's take a look, go back to color, go to the adjustment clip here and drag this sRGB to linear on top of that node there. Go back here to my edit page and we can see here, now uh, my colors is linearized. So I've taken away the sRGB uh, gamma essentially. So now this is the actually the kind of how uh, the camera sees when it captures onto the sensor. Um, you can see here if I drag this away, we can see here now it's uh, the gamma is applied. So it looks like something we can view on our monitor. But essentially I want all of the clips be to be treated with this uh, lot on top. But I also want to be able to just simply disable this when I do some creative grading later on. So I can just disable this or remove it. So this is just for the linearization purpose and for my export out for the backplate into Maya. In my case here, let's take a look here and go to my deliver page. I just want to export one image out here. Let's say this image here as a backplate. I'm gonna export it to my desktop lin backplate. I want an EXR resolution, add to render queue and hit start render and it's gonna render one frame. And now we can take this one into Maya and see how this looks when we apply it a lot and if it match what I did here in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump over to Maya now. Okay, so here in Maya we have a basic scene here. So I imported a camera and assigned the back plate to uh, the image plane. And first, before we look at this, we wanna take a look at the color management here. So to uh, get this to work here, we need to define the rendering color space. So I have enabled color management and my rendering space is seen linear linear rec 79 slash srgb. So this is the internal linear color space and the view transform is srgb gamma. So remember in DaVinci Resolve, I graded my uh, plate with a srgb color space. So if we can, we can, for example, if I turn color space off here, it's gonna look the same as we apply this reverse a lot from srgb to linear. And it's the same here. I can turn this off to raw here. It's gonna be like bypassing the color space as well. Um, so let's take a look here. We can hide this lens here and just take a render first off using the run in the view and then open the same scene here. Can I pause it and then open it in DaVinci Resolve and see that they do match. So we have that established. Oh, and uh, here now on this side, we have DaVinci Resolve the way I graded it. And here we can see my backplate that I exported to VXR. That's kind of spot on. So we can turn this off to uh, raw here as well. If I drag my adjustment layer back here, you can see that they should match as well. If I do this, yeah. So there's the, um, the basic here for uh, getting a uh, neutral graded plate here. So in an upcoming episode, I will also take a look at an ACES CG example. So that's gonna come up. And later on, I will also go into color management in general, where it comes to, especially for texture artists, because that's the main focus for for me to understand a bit about uh, the texture gamma and uh, why we apply LUTs or reverse LUTs and what's linear and what's uh, not and what's scalar, what's a scalar value and stuff like that. But this was more about how we can actually get a graded plate from my camera using DaVinci Resolve into Maya and get it to match here using my LUT here. That's going to be the sRGB lot in my example here. So in the next episode, we're gonna take a look at how we can actually incorporate the CGI version of the lens into the back plate. And uh, if you wanna support my channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification.
so you don't miss anything.